Hi, my name is Ken Stewart. I'm going to talk with you about drinking coffee. I'm not a coffee expert, but coffee is something I've come to enjoy. The first thing you're going to notice about your coffee is the aroma. Growing up in the U.S., I came to learn late in life that really the coffee I, I, I grew up drinking didn't have much flavor. It had great aroma, or at least I thought it was great, and then it was a caffeine kick. Good coffee should be flavorful. Now what I have here is a Maitama uh, Castilla. And I don't know if you can see this, but if you look, you can see it's, on, it's translucent somewhat. It's not inky black, which is kind of the way that I thought coffee was supposed to be. But instead, you can really see about a third of the way down the cup. And here's why. If your coffee is brewed, is roasted so dark, so anytime I order a good cup of coffee, I always go for a medium roast. As coffee cools, the, the flavor will change. With good coffee, even the, the cold, when it gets cold, will still have a very pleasant taste. Good aroma, somewhat translucent, and the first sip. They say you really can't taste the full flavor of the coffee till the third sip. But on this, my initial thought is how much of my mouth is actually getting flavor. Uh, a good coffee should really fill your mouth from cheek to cheek uh, with different taste sensations. With this coffee, it has just a hint of floral with kind of a mild, just the slightest hint of perfume. You can taste that very earthy, kind of rustic flavor. When from the first sip, there's almost a hint of sweetness. This is just black coffee, but it's a kind of a, a fruitiness. And I've had different coffees that had hints of cherry or peach. This is just the slightest hint of maybe a honeyed melon. One thing I've noticed with good coffee, I actually drink it slower. And as I've become more aware of what how good coffee is supposed to taste, I actually drink less. And I think it has something to do with being satisfied.